The Magic Window – Understanding a Character's Thoughts and Feelings Hello, wonderful learners! In today's lesson, we're diving into an important narrative technique called characterization. This technique helps us better understand the characters in a story. Specifically, we're focusing on how to grasp a character's thoughts and feelings. Being able to express these elements effectively can turn your storytelling from good to extraordinary. So, let's get started. Characterization is the method used by writers to develop a character. This can include direct descriptions of the character, the character's actions, the character's thoughts and feelings, and what other characters say about them. But today, we're going to focus on one key part of characterization, the character's thoughts and feelings. These give us a deeper look into what a character is experiencing, thus making the story more engaging and relatable. There are several ways to show a character's thoughts and feelings. Let's look at three main techniques. 1. Internal dialogue. This is when we hear or read the character's thoughts. For example, John looked at the high wall. I will never be able to climb this, he thought. 2. Actions and behavior. Sometimes, a character's actions and behaviors can reveal their inner thoughts and feelings. For example, Mary slammed the door and threw her bag on the floor. She was clearly upset. 3. Speech. A character's words can reveal a lot about their thoughts and feelings. This includes not just what they say, but how they say it. For example, Tom's voice trembled as he spoke. I can't believe she's gone, he whispered. Remember, the best storytelling often shows rather than tells. So instead of saying, Susan was angry, show it through her thoughts, actions, and speech. Understanding a character's thoughts and feelings is vital for several reasons. 1. Relatability. When we understand what a character is feeling, we can relate to them on a deeper level. This makes the story more engaging. 2. Conflict and plot. A character's thoughts and feelings often drive their actions, which can create conflict and propel the story forward. 3. Depth. Exploring a character's thoughts and feelings gives them depth, making them feel more like real people than simple fictional constructs. So, next time you write a story or analyze one, remember to consider what the characters are thinking and feeling. And that's it for today, folks. We've discussed characterization, and more specifically, how to understand and express a character's thoughts and feelings. I hope you found this lesson helpful. Remember, these techniques are not just tools for storytelling, but also for understanding language and human nature. Until next time, keep practicing and keep learning. Happy storytelling!